Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'm so excited because I finally got accepted into the technical preview for GitHub Copilot. In case you don't know what GitHub Copilot is, it is effectively an AI assistant when it comes to coding where it will autocomplete or suggest completions for you based on what it thinks you need. And it's trained on GitHub in literally thousands of repositories. It's not really officially supported in C Sharp and .NET or Rider in that matter, but because they added support for IntelliJ IDEA, which is a JetBrains ID, because they all share the same API for plugins, you can go straight to the marketplace and install it in Rider. And I can now have GitHub Copilot in Rider, which is awesome. In this video, we're going to try to see a theoretical and a practical example and see how well it does. And maybe in future videos, when support becomes better, we'll see how it plays out. I'm also going to start using it actively from now on on every video and let it train on my uh, code bases and see if, I don't know, a month or two months down the road, it is actually better. If you like the type of content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get alerted when I upload a new video. So I'm going to go here and I have nothing, but I, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a binary search tree. Now, this is your typical algorithmic like data structure question answer, where a binary search tree is a data structure that has two leaf nodes per node, and it's ordered in a very specific way. From left to right, you have smaller values and bigger values. And that is the benefit because you can now, if you have, for example, 10 million entries in that tree, you only have to go, I think, 30 layers deep to find the value you want. It's very efficient, very fast. So I just specified the, the name of the binary search tree. And maybe I'm going to specify a binary set stream node, or it can be just anything. It can be just node, right? Now, as you can see, no autocomplete, because I don't think it has enough context to be like very smart about autocomplete. But what I can do is I can open the GitHub Copilot window, and then it gives me a bunch of suggestions on what it thinks I need. And I can then choose in Rider what I want. And this one looks pretty good. This looks like a binary set tree node. You have the left node and you have the right node. Great. So I'm going to go now on the binary set tree and I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to use the key binding for that. So let's do this. Opens the window. It will try and think what I need. I am assuming based on the class name. Uh, and yeah, here we go. And it generated some stuff here. Oh, this suggestion looks good. Insert node. This looks decent as well. Let's go with this one. So we have the root node. It starts with nothing. It does a comparison. Oh, the values are strings. So we don't want that. We want the values to be integers. So we're going to have to change that. But other than that, it wasn't that off. Insert. Yeah, find. It doesn't have a delete, I don't think. But that's fine. We can work this out. Why don't you like this? You don't like this because, oh, that's a string as well. Maybe that's where it picked up the value thing. Okay, so we have a binary set string now. So if I go here and say BST equals new binary set string and do BST dot insert, why not? Five, I'm going to insert a few things. So five, six, nine, four, two, I'd say zero, and then give it like a big number as well, like 84, something like that. Now I want to print that and binary set trees should be printed in order. So it doesn't have a print method. So let's go ahead and create a print method. So, oh, it doesn't have a delete method either. So let's accept that. What is it trying to do? Uh, sure. We don't have a find min. Okay. You drive print. Sure. I want to do that. Print. Okay, I don't really know how to code, but you do. Fine. Can I print this? Let's run this. This should be now in order. Zero, two, four, five. Yep, that's that looks like a, a binary tree printed in the right order. Can I? Can I? Let's see how delete works. BST dot delete. Let's say I want to delete delete nine from here and then print it again. Let's do that. Yep, nine was <laughs> so stupid. I'm so stupid, clearly, because I wouldn't know how to do this. Okay, uh, BST dot, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting into Google tomorrow. Uh, let's say I want to find something. So I want to find six, if it exists. 
let's do console.write line find and then let's yeah i wanted to do find nine because nine should have been deleted and i want to say how the hell does it okay that's so weird i didn't want to print the node i want to print oh it returns a node okay so i guess if it's null <laughs> good try actually good suggestion that is why don't you do this for this though as well you do <laughs> that's so stupid i'm so glad i didn't script this video this is so hilarious <laughs> it it, <laughs> it works okay so i want i won't focus too much on this because am i turning red because i'm feeling uncomfortable with how good it is i'm gonna move forward to a more practical example let's go ahead and create an api project jesus christ i have an old template i won't try to use minimal apis here because there's no way it's been trained in enough minimal api code to actually give a good example so i'm gonna just create the old structured api um, and let's make sure it doesn't have any nullable reference types. It doesn't. Great. So we have the weather controller and whatnot. What I want to do is I want to effectively delete that. And I'm going to create a new controller. I'm going to create a people controller. Let's say I'm actually, you know, doing the job. Will it suggest something here? No. What if I tell it to, like, think about it? Oh, okay. Some, some suggestions here. This looks good. Yes, I like this. I mean, yeah, this looks like something I could work with. Now, I want this to be a controller base. Do you know what I want here? I want an API controller. I wish you knew. API controller. Fine. So let's go ahead and create the, the services directory. This is so stupid. <laughs> I love it. And then let's create a models folder as well. So let's go in the services and create an I people service. It's taking sweet ass time. And do you know what I want? No, I don't want a string get people, but good try. Do you have any other suggestions? Yep, that that one looks pretty good. I'll go with that. I didn't even need to think about it. Let's go ahead and create a person class. Do you know what I want? Yep, I can work with that. Do you know? Like, can you give me more? Maybe. Address? I can work with that as well. C yeah, sure. City? Why not? State? Zip. It keeps going. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna delete that. I d okay, it's fine. I don't need that. Just this. This works. You know what? I also want an ID. Do you have an ID? No, I don't want that. Okay. And the ID should be good. If it knows that the ID is good, will it generate that but with good instead? Let's see. Let's delete that. And let's give it a, a, a shot. So it's pre-generated, so I don't think this will change. No, nah, it's fine. Okay. Whatever. So let's just change this to ID. Now, I wouldn't necessarily name this get person, get create person. I would just remove the, the people slash person thing because I'm already in an I people service situation. But it's good that it, you know, it's content aware. Now I could implement missing members using the ID, but does it know what I want? What I really, really want? No, it doesn't. It has no idea. Fine. Uh, let's implement those. Do you know what I want here? Good good try i'm gonna make it a bit easier for you i'm gonna create a private read only dictionary of good and person and i'm gonna call that people equals new now do you know what i want yes that's what i want the chain the thing changed based on the context sure that's exactly what i want man this is so good uh well it is searching by name I didn't even see that. Yes. I I never intended for that to be a method, but great. This would work. Fine. 
now is this like domain level right like do you want to get the first person matching a name let's not worry about that create person this is so cool yes <sighs> hmm interesting it will just fully update the object and set its id i guess technically that's right you can also do a property for property mapping to that and then set that updated value but who cares this is pretty good and then delete <laughs> man uh, i'm only pressing tab in this video i don't even code anymore anyway so we have that and now we have that can it generate the rest of the methods get by id well this is a good but good try but you didn't generate no you didn't generate the attributes maybe if i try and guide it a bit yes i didn't even do anything it just automatically did it get people yeah is it a task no i enumerable oh it's an action result okay so this should be okay fine then yep sure this again this is a good but good try yes i want to create close enough create person if it if it could see and like try to think based on what i have in there that would be so much better but <laughs> it's not doing a bad job by no means this is nutty this is a void okay fine you wouldn't I mean, you wouldn't want to return like, okay, here you would return create and then use the URI um, or URI and here for deleted, you might want to return a different response. But overall, this just made an API and all I did is press tab. This is insane. You know, I, I really don't want to stand too much on this because I'm now just excited to see what else it can do. This is really practical stuff. You know, the first example, very generic. I would expect it to get it right. But to build an API, like to have a CRUD API from scratch without needing to do anything, then press tab and maybe just give it a bit of a, like instructions. Uh, oh, and, and on the instructions thing, you can go even further, right? You you don't have to, to limit yourself to binary search trees. If I say is <laughs> buzz or something for, mm, for, yeah, maybe, okay, here you go. It just generated the fist buzz. Because it understood from the comment that I wanted a fizz buzz. Here you go. That's so cool. Can I make like a game type of thing? Console game. Actually, no. Okay, so create a calculator. I calculator. No, I don't want comments. No number. You know what? I'll play your game. Let's go ahead and create a public class calculator. Auto-completed. Now, all of it. I don't even want to have to type a single method. Be smart about it. <laughs> yep. I want... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it here. I... <laughs> Good video. That's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to my Patreons for making these videos possible. If you want to support me as well, you're going to find a link in the description down below. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe for more content like this and ring the bell as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.